Now let's try to understand how MVC project is structured. So in the solution that we discussed earlier, I'm going to add a new project that will be web project and we'll have MVC3 picked up by default. We may pick up MVC4 as well, doesn't matter. So we'll pick up MVC4 and then with MVC4, we'll name this as test MVC as an application. The time you pick up AS project MVC4, it's going to ask you one more question. And the question will come to you is MT, which is what we are going to want to pick up because we are going to do everything from the scratch. Then there is one basic along with one basic controller. Internet in the sense by default we'll have a form based authentication, which means uh, customized uh, authorization authentication we can do. Intranet in the sense Windows based authentication. Mobile application in the sense with responsive CSS. And web API, this is completely new uh, kind of a controller added into uh, MVC recently to handle REST based uh, communication, which anyway we'll come back to in a while. So as I said some time back, that when you create a MVC project, you will have to decide that is which is going to be your default engine. So I'll pick up default engine as ESPX as we all are you can say well known or well acquainted with this extension. However, this extension actually proves to be different in case of MVC. So only extension is well known, but the actual content will be different. And then as you can see, MVC was initially made for you can say unit testing support. So we also have something called as create unit test because this was a drawback in case of ASP.NET. And now we have a solution for it. So create a unit test project. As of now, you can see only one unit testing framework exists on my machine called as Visual Studio Unit Test. So I'm not going to create a unit test immediately. We'll come back to it or revisit this after some time. So I'll say uncheck this. I picked up empty ASPX. Click on OK. And here you'll find out maybe a default project will be created now along with a very standard structure. Let's not change the structure at all. There's a reason behind it. The, if you change the structure, in that case, the locations where views are searched, locations where controllers are searched, uh, by default, by MVC handler, you're trying to change those. And if you change, then it may not find one and you may end up in errors. However, this is really required in projects. And then how? what is the way of doing it that we'll anyway understand after some time. So I picked up MVC4. There's a reason behind it because that's uh, you can say default comes up with 2012 Visual Studio. With 2010, you may get MVC 1, 2, but then 3 you are supposed to install, 4 obviously you are supposed to install. Now, here with you can say test MVC folder, we have a certain folders, some standard folders, app data. Obviously, you know it's for holding a data. Abstract is a folder, but we will visit this folder after some time. I will not even open this folder. And there are three well-known folders now, at least by the name, model, view, and controllers. Under the views, again, there is web config file, just to limit the, uh, you can say, uh, visibility to the content. So what I'm going to do now, there is nothing called as no controller class. There is no method. There is no view even. And then to start with, just like we discussed in the slideshow some time back, what will we do now? We will add one basic controller class. So let me add controller class here. Right click, add. We directly have option here, which is a template controller. It's going to simply ask us, what's the controller's name that you would like to have? I would say add home controller. Next thing, there are many uh, helpers available from Visual Studio. However, in the first version, we did not have, you can say luxury of all of this. So with home controller class, it may ask you, do you want to go and uh, have certain by default methods created or so? I would say no. I'll create empty MVC controller. Add it. So as you can see, the time you add a controller through that template, you'll find out 
we have a class available here which is with the name home controller however user will never never give a call to home controller as a full world user will give a call to home only and as we discussed this comes from a base class called as controller and which has got an index method default which is part of home controller simple public method but look at the return type right now return type is action result which is supposed to be a bundle of you can say bundle which or object which conveys to the view engine which data and which particular page and look at the code now and it simply says return a view but then when i say return a view which particular page it must be searching for now in case of mbc default page it will search for is the name of the method itself which means a default location it will look for the page is called uh, uh, the default page it will search for is index.psvx where i will not show you right now we are going to get error immediately when i run the project now so let me run this and put a breakpoint even over here and here is what i'll do i'll go to internet explorer and start the project here we go and we'll put a breakpoint I'm also going to stop the project quickly as and when the browser opens. Now navigation obviously fails because I have stopped the navigation. Uh, I guess I did not. By default, I wanted to really give a call to a method called as home slash index by myself. I, should, I wanted to say enter to it, which means I'm not giving call to any page i'm giving call to home slash index i'll say enter now and here comes a request right now so after we have a request let's see what happens 